Thank you. Excuse me, I'm looking for Lieutenant Haskins. That would be me, and unless you cut the guy that killed this poor bastard, I don't have time for you. Lieutenant, I'm Alex Switch. I'm your new detective. Jesus Christ. Bateman, get over here. What up, LT? Alex Switch, John Bateman. Hey, call me Bate, buddy. Not Bate, buddy, just call me Bate. Switch here is your new partner. I'm sorry, it sounded like you said Captain Picard here is my new partner. That's exactly what I said. Play nice. Don't I get a say in this? Detective Bateman, I look forward to working with you. Why don't you go report to Commander Data in Engineering, all right? Engage! Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Lieutenant, don't I get to say who my partner is? And you sent me this guy who's 40 years old, but clearly his center of gravity Excuse is not me, more than six months out of Excuse the academy, me, Lieutenant. I don't know if you've noticed, we have an unsolved murder here and a police department that's overwhelmed. I am pulling kids out of police academy for the first assignment and sending veterans back in training. We are steps away from having citizens on patrol out there. We're a city under siege. Unless you want a one-way ticket on a mission to Moscow, I suggest you get over it and you get back to work. You're not paying these veterans for training, are you? Hey, Lieutenant, as long as you're throwing people around, I wouldn't mind an assignment in Miami Beach. The one in Florida, Lieutenant. So that's what we do on Tuesdays. Listen, not to interrupt, but are we going to get around to interviewing any witnesses today? Are you serious? You are a detective, right? We're just talking to the guy's wife. It's no big deal. I'm going to tell you something. You write it down. Detective work is more than just listening. It's looking at people's tells, like their eyes. And you got to look out for the signs. Look out for signs. You got to look out for the signs. What exactly do you mean by that? <laughs> classic <laughs> neighborhood, watch out. <laughs> classic. No, it's funny. Oh, and before I forget, you'll be questioning the suspect's wife. OK. Wait, what? What's that now? Hello. Hi. You must be Mrs. Vanessa Vaughn. Yes, I am. Oh, great. I'm Detective John Bateman. This is my partner, Dr. Manhattan, and he's going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you. Doctor? Um, yes, Mrs. Vaughn. I'm sorry. Um, just had to ask you a few personal, <laughs> personal uh, questions. Shouldn't take a few minutes. We wouldn't want to intercourse, interfere with your vagina. Day. Are you serious? Quite all right. I'm used to detectives delving into my private areas. Dude, she was talking about sex twice in one month. I'm sorry, Miss Vaughn. This should only take a few minutes. When was the last time you saw your husband? Two nights ago. And you have no idea where he is? Of course not. Just have a few more questions if you'll bear with me. Give me some time, please. Just can we just take it? Help. Please help. Freeze, tough guy. You are in trouble. Watch your head. Watch your head. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. Why don't you actually let the guy kill me next time? Why don't you do that? Or or why don't you, at least when you're 20 feet away, say, freeze, I have a gun. Why, why walk all the way to him and hold the gun to his head? You know what? I've just about had it with this condescension bullshit. Last time I checked, we're on the same side. So what say you cut me a little friggin' slack? You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. I do have one question. Is that the same speech you gave to Superman to let you into the Fortress of Solitude? Because it's a good speech, and I know it's like real hard solitude to get into. You're an asshole, you know that? No, I'm just, I'm, no, I'm serious. Is that what you asked him? Was it awkward when Kevin Spacey was hired as your part? I'm weirded out by it, so you must be really weirded out. Where are we going next? Uh, we just need to break Ned Beatty out of jail, and uh, then our yeah. day is done. <laughs>